Hello and welcome to Art with Mr P. This week we're looking at colour and we'll be using paint and oil pastels. The kind of paint you decide to use is what you've got at home yeah? and if you haven't got anything then the range is open in Dumfries and you can get most paints there but really each lesson that we do together really is about using what you already have at home. Now these lessons are only starting points. Uh, most of you will already have looked at this during the year so some of it is about revisiting parts of the curriculum for excellence. When we have finished together you can still keep going and do your own thing there. Yeah. Okay, so we're still looking at the visual elements. We will still look at line like we did last week in drawing, but we'll be introducing shape, form, and most importantly, paint, and or oil pastels or crayons, oil crayons, yeah, and looking at color. So we've just got some uh, plain white paper. And the first thing I'd like you to do is to mark out a vague and basic scene. So I'd like you to put a, a horizon in. And the horizon is where the sky meets the ground. That's all it is. On one side, I'd like you to put some bushes, trees. Some trees. And on the other side, I'd like you to mark in a little house. Might look something like something like that, maybe. Little house. Now, what we're going to paint is a rainbow, which seems very appropriate at the moment, considering where we are in the world. But uh, the rainbow is a very good tool, a very good way of exploring colours. So first of all we have to mark out the shape and of course we use line to do it. Now I've gone and got myself a plate and I would like quite a big rainbow so I'm going to put the rainbow going from the house to my trees and bushes. So I've carefully drawn around the plate. Now you might need some help with this one. So there's the top of my rainbow and then I'm very very carefully going to put in smaller versions of that shape underneath. Now can you see how careful I am? Nice and slow. No rush, got plenty of time. Round I go, trying to keep that line the same distance from the line next to it. So another one, getting smaller this time. Getting smaller. And we want six spaces. Yes, yeah? so we got one, two, three. <clears throat> Let's put one on the outside. Four. Five, <clears throat> and we could put a smaller one in the middle, can we? Six. I like this because the rainbow is bigger than the piece of paper, which it should be. So there are the basic shapes that we've created using the visual element of line. Now over here, I've got a palette. You could use an old plate. I've got a uh, a jar with some clean water in it. On the palette I've got the three primary colours which you'll probably know are red, blue and yellow and I've got some old paper towel too. Now the first thing I'm going to do is top the rainbow. So we're going to fill in the biggest part of the rainbow, the top part of it, in red. So I'm going to go and get some paint now it's quite thick. I'm using this acrylic paint, but you can use watercolour or whatever it is you have at home, 
or we could go and get yourself some poster paint if you don't have it whatever you have use it yeah so i've got some nice red on there and very very carefully i'm going to fill in this top arch with red paint now in france we would call this we would call a rainbow an arc-en-ciel which is an arch in the sky here yeah? an arc-en-ciel so we've got red there that's our first primary color so the three primary colors are the basic colors that you can use to mix and make up just about every other color you can't make white you can't make black but you can make just about all the other colors by mixing up the primary colors now we've got red i'm going to go for yellow next now you've got to be very careful here because we don't want to do the next arch we want to leave one of the parts of the rainbow and do the next one so can you see how i've missed missed one of the arches and i'm filling in yellow so yellow is our secondary primary color so we've got red's a primary color yellow's a primary color and i fill this in now i'm going quite fast because i want you to get on with it yeah so i don't want to take up too much of your time here I expect that you will work much slower and with a lot more care. Yeah. So we've got two of our primary colours there. We've got the red and the yellow. So I'm cleaning the brush again because I want to keep the brush nice and clean and dry. And then I can keep the colours lovely and pure. Yeah. Right, I'm going into the blue now, getting some blue. I'm leaving a gap on the rainbow and I'm going to fill in the next arch. So can you see it's red, white, yellow, white, blue. So I'm filling this in. This is our third primary color. So we've got three, all three primary colors on the paper. Round I go, as carefully as I can. I bet you can be much more careful now. Round I go, primary colors. Here we go. I've got my three primary colors on the page. All right, so I clean the brush. Now it doesn't matter, there's a little bit of blue left on there. Now we're going to start doing to do some mixing. The first mixing we're going to do is I'm going to mix some blue and yellow. Now I want to start off with the lighter color. So on my palette, I take a little bit of yellow and I take a little bit of blue but hardly any blue because the blue is very very much stronger than the yellow yeah and I mix those and I've never quite been able to get my head around that how does that and that together make that so we've got yellow and blue makes a very convincing green now on the rainbow yellow and blue if you mix those you get green so the space between the two will be the green color yeah so if you mix yellow and blue you get the green going as carefully as i can now like i say i'm going quite fast i've done this before of course a couple of times you might have done this before when I go through town, when I go through Dumfries town, I notice quite a few rainbows up. And when you look at those rainbows, you'll be able to think, oh, yes, of course. I remember doing that lesson with Mr. P where if you mix the yellow and the blue, you get green. So next we're going to mix. We need to fill in this part of the rainbow, I think, probably. So we're going to mix the red with the yellow. Now, some of you may know what that color is going to be. Yeah. So I take the lighter color, the color with a lesser value. Yeah, there's the yellow. I get a little bit of red, not too much, because the red's quite strong, yeah. And I mix those two. There it is. And I get an orange. So the red and the yellow make orange. 
Right, I'm getting a little bit of water in there. Red and yellow. So the red and the yellow make orange. That goes on. A bit thick. There we are. That was nice. The orange colour. Red and yellow make orange. So taken the red and the yellow primary colours, and I've made this orange colour now. The orange is a secondary colour, yeah? So if you mix two primary colours, you get this secondary colour, yeah? And then the colours go full circle, which is quite nice, yeah? Because sometimes with the children in my schools, we paint colour circles, but actually the rainbow is a bit like a colour circle. We've got one more arch to fill in. Now, it's going to be blue, and we need to mix it with something else. So we're going to mix it with the red, yeah? So I'm going to take a little bit of blue. I'll take red to mix with the blue, and add in the blue. Mix those together. Okay, so we've taken two primary colours. We've taken the red and the blue, and we've added those together. And we end up with a new created secondary color and then is yeah it's purple or violet if you want to call it violet I remember from secondary school that Richard of York gave battle in vain yeah. so I think we'll call it that okay now then the rest of the picture is completely up to you you might want to fill in the sky in blue because it's going to be a lovely day of course isn't it yeah even though there's a rainbow you might want to put a sun in you want to might you might want to mix up a different kind of green maybe put some more yellow or more blue into the green yeah and fill in the trees and bushes you might want to have a colorful house and fill in the ground yeah the rest is completely up to you so what have we done here we took the three primary colours of red, blue and yellow. And we put them on our rainbow, red, blue and yellow. We then mixed the red and the yellow to make orange. We mixed the yellow and the blue to make green. And we mixed the blue and the red to make the purple. Now remember, next week... Uh, we're going to be moving on to something different. We're going to be moving on to collage. If you have some paint left over like me, you might want to paint a few sheets of uh, spare paper that you will be able to use next week in your collage. Or you might want to collect some newspapers and magazines and anything, any paper that's got lots of colour on it. Some wrapping paper, whatever you can get your hands on. So this week we've been exploring primary colours. Well done. So remember when you're using colour, particularly when using paint, try and keep your brush clean. Use lots of clean water. Use paper towel to keep your brush dry and clean. Clean water and try and keep the colours as clean as possible. Because we all know that if you mix all the colours up together, you're going to get a brownie grey. And uh, that's far too easy, isn't it?